What have we become? And more importantly, what do we do about it? Hey everybody, welcome back to Mixtape Theology, where we look at the theology behind our favorite 90s contemporary Christian music and poke fun at 90s Christian culture. I'm Rachel Cash. My partner and pastor, Dr. Ashley Mofield, and I, we are celebrating the 25th, yes, that's right, year old, 25th anniversary of DC Talk's iconic Jesus Freak album with DC Talk-inspired content during the month of November 2020. Earlier this month, Dr. Ashley did a fantastic devotional vlog and blog on In the Light, and today I'm tackling a song from their Jesus Freak album called, What Have We Become? This song was written by Toby, Kevin, and Mark Heimerman. The lyrics say, and you probably already know them, what have we become? A self-indulgent people. What have we become? Tell me, where are the righteous ones? In a world degenerating, what have we become? Towards the end of the song, it asks, what about love? What about God? What about holiness? What about mercy, compassion, and selflessness? The song is painting this picture of people, us, who are selfishly driven to do what is right in their own eyes. The consequences of this kind of living is brokenness. Although this song was written 25 years ago, those lyrics could be just as relevant at any point in human history outside of Eden. In his letter to the Christians in Rome, the Apostle Paul says, no matter whether you are a Jew or a Gentile, There's no difference. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. In chapter 3, verses 10 through 11, he quotes Psalm 14 and says, As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none who understands. There is none who seeks after God. Just like the song demonstrates the result of falling short of God's standards, of choosing our own way, are that we become self-indulgent people who hurt ourselves and others. Paul describes the result of our choosing this kind of living over God as cursing, bitterness, swift to shed blood, destruction, misery, and death. Paul is setting the stage here to make a critical point. You need a rescuer. You are pretty hopeless, unjustified, guilty before a holy God and headed towards God's wrath. Left to your own devices, you're a lost cause. But Paul hits us with the good news of the gospel. God has a plan. He loves us. Jesus can make us right towards God. Jesus rescues us from the destruction we are headed for. And this happens through faith in Jesus Christ. Faith and trust in what he has done. In chapter 3, verse 24, it says that we are being justified or made right freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. The word redemption here refers to freeing a slave or prisoner by payment. Jesus rescues us and saves us from what we have become and gives us a new life. We exchange what we have become for the righteousness of Jesus. The fact that this song is on an album called Jesus Freak is perfect. A Jesus Freak knows that we need a savior. It's absolutely absolutely essential to being a Jesus Freak. A Jesus Freak knows our hopelessness apart from God, knows that Jesus is the only one who can and will save us. And a Jesus Freak wants the world to be rescued too. This changes everything about the way we live and what we know to be important and true. We don't live and die by the power they seek. We live by faith in Jesus. When everybody else thinks that we are strange and weak for admitting that we are sinners that need rescuing, we know that our best friend born in a manger is our glorious rescuer. There ain't no disguise in that truth. Tying in even further into the album, Charlie Peacock wrote the song In the Light. And in his book, New Way to Be Human, he describes his life before he came to Christ. He says, back then we, he's talking about he and his wife, were still in the dead zone and had yet to follow Jesus in the new way. At just the right time though, we were pulled from the wreckage and by the light of God, we stumbled after Jesus. I like how he worded that. 
I thank God for his light that gives us the clarity to see what we have become apart from him. And it's that same light that we find our redeemer and rescuer. Thank you, Jesus. And that's why I will always be a freak for life. Thanks for watching this mixtape theology vlog. Go and listen to what have we become and then go ponder Romans and see how they fit together. And whenever you hear that song, you can remember how Jesus has saved us from what we have become and calls us to live for him by faith. We'd love for you to join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube as we reminisce and study together. See you next time.